This is a rotational drill. Hi, friends, golfers. Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy. So, for those of you that know me, know this is a staple of my program of what I teach this rotational drill. I'm a firm believer we can move our body right, rotate correctly, use our engine correctly, our pelvis, that we give ourselves a chance to play well every single day. Okay. When this is running our show and not the arms and the hands doing everything, then guess what? We can miss a few days, a week, two weeks, go play, and you'll be amazed how well you can play. When you're a scooper and you're just using hands and arms to develop speed or whatever, then you need to play quite a bit to develop more timing, right? So I use mirrors everywhere for it. Um, you got to have feedback. If you're doing a rotational drill and you don't have any feedback and you end up like this, how are you going to know? So I have mirrors. If you see me looking around here, I have mirrors here with white, a red line down the middle, convex mirror. So I think that's right, convex, not concave. Um, so it's real important in your mirror that you have it so you can look down at it, okay? So we can stay in posture. I see too many people do this drill. They're just like standing up like this. It doesn't work, okay? We have to be in posture. So I want that mirror down low so we can look at it without having to um, lift our head up. The other thing I want on that mirror is you want to have, have somebody put lines on our hips, okay? So that way we got a, a red line. Say we're keeping our head kind of on it, but we're like this, <laughs> we can see it. Now, if you're at the range or something and you want to do it, you can put something like this next to you or your golf bag or something. And then you can kind of tell like, hey, okay, so I have this little here. If I'm like this, I've gotten away from it. For me, I for me, I need to drive like this and up. Okay, I need to feel like I'm rotating this way or I end up going a little bit towards the target, which is no bueno, okay? So let's talk about this here a little more. I'm going to get into posture. I'll show you this way first here. In front of my mirror. I like the butt end of the club on this side so you have something to look down at. I'm actually going to grab a ball here so I can tell when I'm pointed down, shoulder turn where it's at, okay? So I'm gonna start my turn. The shoulder's gonna go down and across. Now, if you see here, I'm all the way turned. If I had a club laid right here, I would be turned all the way. I didn't just dip like some people do. Some people just go, okay, I got it, like that. Shoulder goes down and across. Now this is pointing for me somewhere here. Now. Do the best you can. We don't need it pointing right at the ball. A little bit outside the ball is great. We don't want it pointed up that way because that means we just went, which we see a lot of high front shoulders, which we don't want to do, okay? First move is this. We are rotating. I, everybody's going to feel it a little different. I like to feel it starting in the ground, my feet moving. I'm putting a lot of pressure into my trail heel. The heel, when I say heel, is right below the where I tie my shoelaces, Okay. I'm feeling my hip go kind of up and behind me. So here I am nice and turned, okay? Step one. Step two, I'm going to shift everything together until when I look down, my left knee is over my left foot, okay? And then here's the next move. I start pushing back from toe to heel on my front foot. Starts pushing my hip out of the way, which gets me to go like this and like that, okay? Now, I'm going to show you from the front so you can see it. We're going to go to posture. So important if we do this right. Okay, first move. A little bit down and across. If you can only go like here, it means you're just going, you're just going like that. Okay, you want to go. Move this here, see how this. And this is some of my feeling, this down and across. If you just got to feel across and that gets you down, that's fine. For me, I feel a little bit of down and across. If yours is just across, that's fine, okay? Just get a nice big, and this is another good thing to how I was telling you earlier. You can put this down back here inside your trail foot like this. And this will tell you that you got good rotation. So I go here. And folks, see, I'm right over it on top of it. It's not that you get 90 degrees or your, your uh, turn. If you can only do 80, that's fine. But it means that's as much as you can do. Okay. Like I heard announcers talk the other day about John Rahm. Well, he's great because he's big and he gets a massive turn. He doesn't even turn 90 degrees. <laughs> His hips turn 30 degrees something. But that X factor between the two is a lot. And 
he is stretched as much as it can be and then he just uses his mass. But um, we just want to be coiled up and ready to rebound on the way back, on the way through. So one here, so step one, kind of high up here, over my left foot, boom. Now, when I'm on my toe, I can use that to push my hip back. That's how I clear. I don't just clear by doing this, okay? I clear by going here, boom, like that, okay? So here, one, two, three. Okay, we don't need to do a speed or anything. We just need to feel it. So that's going to be a real powerful move for you guys, pushing down and up like that. If you're a little more of a, a trail person where you're back more in your trail foot versus more front post, if I'm more of a front posting person, I'm going to be just more like this. I'm not going to have as much shift this way. I'm going to be here and then just like up. So if you want to figure out what post you are, you're in middle post, trail, this is front, okay? So wherever I am, if I'm a front post, I'm not going to have much shift because my knee's already over it. I'm just going to be here and up, okay? Or I could just do a little bit and go, okay? You don't want to get too forward. You're going to you're gonna have to figure out how much on yourself. But remember, when we go here, we're pushing back. Our hips going back. We're starting to push back. But that first move to save your back for the rest of your life, we go together. See the stack? We want to be stacked, okay, with our pelvis and thorax. That way you are going to be safe. You're using your back how it should be. And... You won't have problems with in the future, I hope, okay? Uh, unlike, there's no guarantee if you're one of those that just does one of these, just turns your hips, like I say most people do, okay? Do it one more time for you guys, okay? Thanks for watching. Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf Academy.